Okay, so we do the setup with the karate chop point. So come to the side of the hand and we're tapping right under the line at the base of the pinky. I usually do forefinger and middle finger. And here go the random balloons. It means, yay, we're tapping, help is on the way. All right, so uh, even though I'm scared about some things going on in my body, and I can get really distressed about it. I love myself. I'm willing to love this body. And just right now I accept where I am in my journey now. It's best to repeat out loud. So if you can do that, please do that. Even though I'm scared of some things going on in my body, and this particular fear has sort of a worse quality than some others, I insist on loving myself and accepting myself right now. Even though the body stuff going on for me upsets me, scares me, gets me all wobbly with trust. I love myself. Right now I completely accept myself. Okay, so there's our setup. Now we go to the crown. Oh, this sc scary body stuff. and this particular quality of fear and discomfort. I really dislike it. Inner eyebrow. I don't feel master of it. I'm not really good at calming this fear. outer eye and then that can generate more fear and the sense that I'm playing the law of attraction the wrong way please always substitute your words if mine don't fit for you or just tap in silence if something doesn't fit okay so directly under the eye upper cheekbone I really want to be well. I really want to be solid in intending and inviting well being. Upper lip under the nose. I know my focus can go on what's wrong. And I'm not knowing how to get my well being. Okay, chin point, which is the groove under bottom lip and over chin. I really want to get better at intending well being, inviting well being. Believing in my inherent well being. Under the collarbone round, the inner clavicle point. I really want to be in some flow where I'm inviting the right treatments. The right practitioners, the right practices, the right diet and supplements. And I'm scared I don't know how to do that. Okay, side of the ribs. So this is where we take a hand's width from the base of the armpit 
and tap where that hand lands on the side of the ribs, also called the bra strap point. I also make myself wrong for not doing this better. So then I'm being hard on myself. And I know that doesn't promote relaxation and flow in my body, but the opposite. I just feel like I'm doing it all wrong sometimes. Okay, so here's where we start at back at the crown, reaching for better feeling thoughts, reaching for what we want to believe, soothing ourselves, saying kinder, truer things to ourselves. <sighs> Truly, I'm doing better than I used to. And I'm aware of some solid things I do have in place. in her eyebrow. I'd really like to make more of what I'm doing right. Really expand that. And milk it for all it's worth. Okay, bones on the outer eye. I'd like to make little of what I'm doing wrong. Remember that it's supposed to be a process. Never all figured out, not even for body stuff. Under the eye. I'd like to honor and appreciate my body awareness. which has improved over time, perhaps drastically. I don't say perhaps if that's not the right word. Fucking definitely drastically. Okay, under the nose. I'd also like to appreciate my relationship with guidance. Chin point. When I don't know what to do, or when it looks like things aren't getting better or not fast enough, I think I'm disconnected from guidance. Do breathe as you tap between words. Feel the breath. Let's go into the clavicle round. Right now, I assert that guidance never leaves me. Only I disconnect. Guidance will keep coming even if I ignore it flagrantly. My guidance system knows and loves me. Side of the ribs under the arm. My guidance comes from source. My guidance knows how to find me through my resistance. My guidance does not falter in a vision of well being. My guidance isn't afraid of fear. crown point. Right now, I just breathe into the brilliance and beauty of my guidance system. Inner eyebrow. Right now, I breathe into the love of source, which is always in and all around me. Outer eye, I breathe that love into the cells of my being.
under the eye, upper cheekbone. I'd like to think about what's wrong less often and breathe that love in much more often. Under the nose and drink more water. Drinking the water is love washing all through me. Chin point, the group. I'd like to bring it to now much more often. Let's quit looking at the whole picture and some big thing to figure out. Under the clavicle round. I know guidance comes in now for now. I know guidance can give me the process to reach for right now. Side of the ribs, under the arms. Right now, there's one thing to do just to make me feel better. Just a little bit better right now. crown and I'd like to reach for what feels better without requiring that it instantly make me feel better inner eyebrow remembering that the reaching itself is trust is practicing well-being, is intention, is connection to source and all that's possible. Outer eye. When I'm symptomatic, I'd like to be with myself more kindly, more slowly, more gently. Under the eye. I'd like to be brilliant at interrupting quickly scary thoughts. Scolding thoughts. Hopeless thoughts. Thoughts that make me wrong. Under the nose. Total well being means I walk myself through kindly. Right now. Chin point. There's going to be some challenge or other in the planet Earth human journey. Under the clavicle round. Right now, I accept that this is one of my challenges. It may as well be this. This is as good as anything else. This makes me more compassionate to others. This calls me back to actual kindness to myself. Under the arm side of the ribs. And right now I just celebrate how many amazing tools I have. how aware I've become and keep becoming. How much I've evolved and healed already.
and we'll finish on the crown. And right now I just call in a vision, the potential, the reality, the manifestation, will manifestation, first manifestation of total well-being. And I'm gonna spend more time imagining that and speaking that and feeling that and dancing that and laughing that and savoring that. Okay, let's drop our hands down one cupped over another. Just breathe here for a while, hang out to feel the reverberations. All the goodness of the tapping just echoing all through your system, truly shaking up all those cells into the well-being that we just spoke, called in, drummed in. Feel the breath. Compare it to how you were breathing before. Feel how much your nervous system has settled or shifted. And just notice for a moment if there's anything that was said that felt like it created a hiccup or a discomfort or fear or I don't know about that one spike. And you can write that down and that could be the stuff of further tapping or any process, inquiry, focus wheel. Whatever, whatever. Okay, please look down and open your eyes with very soft gaze, aware of peripheral vision too. And sharpen the gaze, look at the hands, and look up when you're ready to come back to the group process. 